Hello everybody, this is Alex the Titanosaur Emperor here with another um, Safari Limited 2020 review. Now today I'm going to be doing the last of my new Safari Limited 2020 figures and the last of the entire 2020 collection being the Safari Limited 2020 Chianzosaurus. I could be pronouncing it wrong but kind of, I'm honestly close this isn't up I got to it. Now Chianzosaurus was recently described back in 2015 and actually uh, opened the gate for a new type of Tyrannosaurid subspe um, genus or family known as the Alleromides, only consisting so far of Chianzosaurus and Alleromus. Now, when I first heard that Safari was making a, oh, a uh, Chianzosaurus, I was a bit shocked and surprised because I had a feeling they would do another Tyrannosaurid this year because they haven't done one in a while, but I wasn't expecting this Tyrannosaurid. If I expected any company to do it, I would mostly say maybe Collecta. I know PNSO has done a few of them, but um, originally people were not that really impressed with the look of it first. Um, let's take a closer look on it. Um, the first thing you'll probably notice is it, oh, it looks like it has no teeth. It does. It's just covered up by lips, as you can see here in the bottom row. And... I don't know if there's a supporting theory of Chanzosaurus actually having lips. You have the little uh, crests here which are painted on uh, the head sculpt. And also, you do notice that the original promo picture showed kind of a different pattern. Here it's more of a uh, shade of green with brown stripes all over it. They must have done it differently. And uh, the one other thing that's lacking is feathers. I don't know if this species had feathers, but after the last two previous Tyrannosaurids Safari has done, it would have been nice them to add feathers on this guy. Um, the scaling detail, uh, as you said, it's pretty, as you can see, it's really well done. I'll close up. It's still smooth, but again, as I said, there's scaling detail up there. Um, underneath, you have the Chanzosaurus name. The claws are painted. Mine does stand. Again, if it, like, it takes a little bit of a struggle, but it does stand. You have the cloaca under there. And like this is a relatively medium-sized Tyrannosaurid, about a bit bigger than Alleromus. Like I believe I thought it was tiny when I first heard about it. But yeah, so this is about 22 centimeters. And for a size comparison, let's bring in the 2015 U Tyrannus. And as you can see, this is uh, quite a bit bigger than than the uh, U Tyrannus, both, even though both hail from China, except one lived in late Cretaceous China, one lived in the early Cretaceous China. And another Tyrannosaurid we bring in is obviously the uh, well-known and well-favorited um, Safari Limited Feathered Rex. As you can see, so the Feathered Rex is big and bulky compared to the Chianzosaurus, which is more slender-like and so on. And let's bring all three Tyrannosaurids up. As you can see, this is one of the most recent Tyrannosaurids Safari has done. I am hoping, I guess I'll say, I do, I do welcome a new John Zalsaurus, that they make some more Tyrannosaurid species like Albertosaurus. Okay, come on. Stop. Stop. There we go. Oh, come on. Stupid wiggle from the check from the view stool. But you know what? You're just going to stand there and you're going to like it. Uh, do, like, say, an Albertosaurus or a Gorgosaurus. Or even a Tarbosaurus or a Zuchan Tyrannus, or even an Alliaramus would be nice. But it is nice to get a new species of Tyrannosaurid that isn't T Rex all the time. So, yeah. Though this has been my review of the new 2020 uh, Chanzosaurus. My next review will be of the uh, Jurassic World Gassaurus, and I will hopefully be able to review this next week. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.